I'm Christy and I'm a doula. And I'm Jessica and I'm a midwife. And I'm Amy and I'm also a doula. And we're going to talk a little bit about how we can use a peanut ball for various positions in labor. The first thing we want to mention is that we always want to be aware of what size peanut ball we're choosing and make sure that it is a size that is comfortable for the laboring person to use. There's smaller and bigger sizes available. So one of the first um, techniques that we're going to show with using the peanut ball is just a very simple technique of putting it in between her legs. And what this does is opening up her pelvic area to keep that area nice and open and it's also relaxing for her leg to just rest over the peanut ball. Mm -hmm. And so one way to make it more stable is to put these um, little stirrup pieces of the bed up so that way the ball is not moving around and she can just relax and not have to use her muscles to hold the ball still. A really reliable way to use the peanut ball is to support hands and knees, especially for the patient with the epidural that might not be able to sustain the position for a long period of time. It's also a very restful position, as you can see. And here we put Jessica at the foot of the bed her knees are right up against the ledge of the bed to provide additional stability. And then she can move around on the peanut ball, rolling back and forth to her comfort. So in this position, we've changed the bed so that we're in Trendelenburg and we have me in an exaggerated sideline where you can use the peanut ball or pillows. And um, what this helps to accomplish is that start over kind of position um, such as an open knee chest would also accomplish, but this might be easier to accomplish with someone who has an epidural and can't support herself on her knees. Sometimes pillows uh, don't achieve enough height to have a good and nice and wide open pelvis. And so with Jessica using the peanut ball, then her pelvis is nice and wide and open and allows for a lot of descent and rotation of the baby. This is another way we can use the peanut ball. Here we have Jessica sitting up in somewhat of a throwing position where she's sitting upright in the bed. This leg is over the peanut ball. And then this leg we have bent at the knee. So this is keeping her pelvis open and giving her more space um, so she can labor in this way for as long as she's comfortable. And remember, whatever we do with one leg or one side of the body, we want to be able to repeat and do it on the other side of the so if you position the peanut ball between the knees with the top leg resting all the way across the peanut ball, then you can easily slide her knees back to create an arch in the lower part of her back. And this really helps um, to create space for a baby that has a hard time descending to come lower into the pelvis. So this is for those babies whose position are minus two, minus one station, and just don't seem to be coming down. Uh, when the laboring person has a baby that is um, zero station or plus one, then um, this position is a good position to help to change the direction of the femur and create space to allow further descent. You can see that my knees are touching. You can even put a, a blanket between my knees and my ankles are wide. Most people think of using the peanut ball during the first stage of labor, but not the second stage of labor. There are a few ways that we can use the peanut ball um, in the second stage of labor. And one is to allow women to really hug the peanut ball. And you can do this on a sideline or a front position, right? And it just gives her something to really wrap her hands around and, and it allows her to curl around the baby in a different way. Sometimes that's really a challenge is getting them to figure out um, how to do that. And so she can do this either in a sideline or on her back. And another nice way to use the peanut ball, you know, she's in a reclining position, she's going to put her feet um, on in the middle and then open up her knees, right? So we're gonna do that. And then we can use a sheet to wrap around her feet. And then she can kind of do a little tug of war here Okay, support her feet in an upward position um, and, um, and, and really help to open her hips in this position. So this is a nice recumbent position to push in. Okay. 